so I've got ex more exciting stuff happening so this little tiny box has like literally liquid gold it's a rainy gloomy day here so I'm just deciding to take this time to kind of read up on this new project that I'm gonna have so this is the heirloom paint set and I'm going to be transforming Jaren's furniture as I've told you all before so this looks like their paintbrush it's the three inch trim roller with tray and this is their brush and it does recommend that you go ahead and get all of these things Ooh, we got a color selector. I was kind of hoping that this was gonna be in here. Look at all these colors. Oh my gosh. And then this is the sponge that you always see them using the applicator. So this is a two pack. And then here it is guys this is the all-in-one paint in iron gate so it's like a black so this is what we'll be using for the dresser and the bed and then this here should be the what is this oh yeah this is the all-in-one surface prep and sorry for the lighting so I am so excited. So that's gonna be what we're gonna be working on. So I'm gonna sit here and read this. And I can't wait to show you guys the finished product. All of this information will be linked into the description bar. Here's the website. This is good stuff, y'all. Supposed to say hey to Paula. Stay tuned, I'm so excited. Okay, so all set up in the room. I just have to lay down um, these towels. Oh, yeah. So we will be doing my youngest sons. I showed you, if you haven't watched already, please go and watch the team refresh. We really focused on um, my 15 year old's room. Now we're moving into my 12 year old's room. He's gonna have his 13th birthday this month. So all this refresh is like getting him ready for his teens. Um, so yeah, we kind of swapped around some furniture. So now I'm going to paint this black. Um, it's called Iron. Oh, sorry guys. It's called Iron Gate. So I am using the Heirloom Traditions All-in-One Paint and Iron Gate, just paint and clean. So hopefully you can see that fine. So this is all I should need, plus I should have some leftovers um, to do this and this. So yeah, so I'm going to and I'm gonna work on both. So, like, once I'm done putting the cleaner, there's an all-in-one cleaner to add, which is here. This is degrease the gloss surface without sanding. The Heirloom Traditions All-in-One Paint Surface Prep. So, I'm gonna be using this first to prep the furniture. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead prep this one and allow this to um, and you're supposed to be putting this on in sections and then wiping off scrubbing and then wiping off and then I'm gonna go on over to the bed do that by the time I'm done with the bed I'll be back here and then we'll just keep flip-flopping it um, till it's all done so I'm so excited um, I hope 
have it set up where you're going to be able to see everything. Um, but yeah, I'm still learn trying to figure out these angles. I have the window open in here, and I don't know if that's a good thing because you can see all those stripes, but I don't know. I did have to turn the fan on because I do now have a ring light. I'm actually remembering to use it today, so it's hot. Even with my air right now at 70, I'm hot. So, take the mattress off but he didn't take this one off and I probably forgot to say it but oh well so um, um the way the bed is I can't pull this out enough to take that so I'm just going to be super careful when I come to the sides here because I don't want to get that mattress messed up and then this thing get pulled out so I'm going to hopefully not struggle but go on ahead. I'm just using these towels that we used from when we painted. We repainted when we just probably a year or a year and a half ago. We've been in this house now for three years. Um, the entire upstairs. So they had a flat finish that just was not working. I mean, we just looked at it and it was dirty. So and I did not empty the dresser, so this is really, really full to the brim. Okay, so dresser is done. It's all cleaned. It's gross. So it kind of has um, a nice smooth clean to it. So it's not greeny. I thought it kind of would have been maybe like a little green or something. But it isn't. So here we go with this. I'm heading to do the bed.
Okay, so all, I'm just checking the time. Okay, <clears throat> so I started just a little after 8.30, or right about 8.30, and it's 9.36. So it took me an hour to clean both pieces, bed and dresser. So now we're going to go ahead and begin the painting. So according to Paula at Heirloom Traditions, we need to take this lid off and stir for two minutes to get all of the formulas mixed in together, all the different um, blends that are in here and they're all, they've all dropped to the bottom. So I need to kind of get them mixed in, pulling from the bottom up with this. So, um, so far so good. Um, I am a little, I'm, this definitely cleaned really well. Um, the bed is a different type of wood. It's darker and I, I don't know, but it didn't have as much of the dirt or like, you know, the residue coming off. So I'm hoping that's just because it was probably cleaner. I don't know. Um, or less glossy, I, I am not sure. So I really hope once it dries and everything that it will be good. So fingers crossed guys, that that's gonna work out great. Okay, so I'm gonna get back to you in about two minutes. That took me an hour. So hopefully <laughs> um, it'll just take about an hour to do this. Um, that was multiple steps because I actually had to go ahead and apply it. Then, um, use that little brittle pad and then wipe down, which this, we're just applying and allowing it to dry and hopefully three coats from what I've seen with the um, iron gate, which is the black, it's taken about three coats. So um, hoping that's all we need because <laughs> nobody trying to be here all day, you know what I'm saying? And then Paula tells me, you know, I feel like Paula's my auntie. So auntie Paula tells me, to, I just need a plate to pour out a little bit of this. I have their um, paintbrush, which is like a, uh, I guess, uh, sort of like a chalk paintbrush, but it is really thick. It's kind of like a little on the heavy side, but um, yeah, it feels so good. And then I have this. So I'm, because I have so many of the cracks, I'm gonna kind of just go in like this, and then follow up with the cracks. She does recommend that, um, well, that you apply and that you blot and that you don't worry about streaks and um, blemishes because this paint has um, in its formula something that will dry and um, level itself. So everything should come out streak free. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about this part. Like this is the fun part. Cleaning is not the fun part, but this should be the fun part. Um, yeah, so in the meantime, I'm listening to um, Love First Christian Center with Pastor Jomo yesterday because it poured rain all day long. I mean, we just do church at home, but we literally did not get up out of our bed because that rain was so good. So I'm just catching up on my church service from yesterday. Um, while I'm doing this, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this all situated and then we'll get back and paint, okay? Okay, so it's been two minutes and I have stirred the paint. Now, with regular paint, and this is a water-based paint, but with regular paint, um, you usually see, well, I see the separation right away when mixing, but this looks pretty mixed already but you know I still went in there because I've never used this before and stirred lifting up from the bottom and getting in there real good because if you don't do this step like you open this and it looks good and all like as if it's already like mixed well and you don't get those particles from the bottom that's probably where your adhesive is that's going to allow this to kind of stick and hold on to the you know, your surface that you're painting. So go ahead in there and just keep going, 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 going. So now, this doesn't look like much paint, but according to this, this this um, 32 ounce 
throttle can do a, um, approximately 140 square feet. So that's like a 12 by 12 bedroom. Um, it should be able to paint. So, and it does say it's a low luster sheen, dry time, cure time, drives to touch typically in one to two hours. Um, and then for maximum bonding cure time is 36 to 48 hours. So, um, like I said, the goal is going to be I'll work on this one and then I'll move to the back and get the bed. And then by the time the bed is done, like go back to this and then like they'll have some time in between to get the drying done. So according to Paula, I just need this little plate here. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and just pour out a little bit of this and try not to make a mess. Just working with a little bit at a time. Okay, let's get into this. First coat is done on the dresser. There's really been no smell. I mean, the smell is extremely minimal and that's only when you're like literally like face in. <laughs> so off to the Trumbull day bed. Oh, oh I'm tired already. Okay, so it is 10, 12. So it took me about 30 minutes to do this first coat. So, yep, next is this. Okay, guys, it is 11, 13. And finally got done with this piece here. And y'all, y'all, I'm like literally crying here because my aunt just texted and my grandfather is fully vaccinated and wants a visit and I'm such a baby because I miss that man so much he is 95 years old and I love him to death and just not being able to visit whenever you want we take that stuff for granted Whew. Yeah, I'm a big baby when it comes to my family. I love them so much. So knowing that sometime this week, or possibly next week, I don't know, she just texted and asked me what days I'm available. I'm available any day, if that means seeing my grandpa. So my two aunts and my grandpa will be coming up for a visit. 
Lord God is so good. Oh my God, he's so good. Oh, I can't wait. Anyway, back to painting. Me and my big crybaby self. Okay, second coat. Something's happening with my lighting. But second coat is on. Looks good. I do. I know I'm going to have to do a third one. And I almost think I really kind of probably need to use that little rolly. But I don't know what's happened here. I don't know if um the d glosser like if i missed over that spot but yeah that spot won't take the paint so i don't know all right second coat complete and this first coat is still dry listen this this um this color, just like this, looks so dope. If you had like a farmhouse um, room, you know, like if that was the look that you were going for, that would be so cool. Like if I didn't have like all the metals in here, um, like that backdrop, this would look really dope just like that. And like you would be finished. Um, but yeah, so we're getting there. See the difference? Like look, you've got, you know, the bed over here. And the dresser so it's getting definitely iron gate black is showing up here um this is the other side so it's coming together guys all right so on to the bed and it is now 11 44 so this is taking me some time i mean i don't know how aunt paula be doing this thing on live in 45 minutes girl it's got this down because this definitely is not taking 45 minutes but yeah it's coming together and i'm pretty happy with it you know so on to the next phase here with me um i really really do appreciate it <laughs> i am like cupboard uh, in this stuff these big arms got some stuff all over them so <laughs> maybe gloves if 
Um, I'm, I'm sure this thing might be hard to get off, but it is a water base. But maybe gloves next time um, would work. But yeah, so we're done. So thank you so much once again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have projects, I hope it gave you motivation to go on out there and just do it. Like, <laughs> don't wait. I literally almost gave this stuff away. Like, but I have completely brought it back to life. So stay tuned because I do have a room makeover. I've gotten him some new bedding and whatnot. Um, some wall decor. I've got, we did the, um, his lawn, um, not laundry, um, his closet and organized that and put up new shelving. Um, so I am so excited to share with you. Please stay tuned. Be blessed, everyone. God is so good. Please give all your prayers, your worries, everything to him. And really, when you do give it to him, lean on him and know that he will see you through, that he will answer. Oh my gosh, I am feeling so motivated today. I will see my grandpa. Actually, while you guys are watching this, I would have seen him on Wednesday. So today is Monday. I am so, so blessed, y'all. <laughs> I just feel the presence of God all over me. I have been listening to gospel music, getting through this, um, listening to his word, and just being filled, y'all. Fill yourself. Let y'all cup overflow so that you can pour into others. Be blessed. Thank you for watching Jillian's Lifestyle to pour more. So much more to come. I am so excited for my little guy's room. Woo! Yes, y'all. Be blessed. get this thing to end. Okay. Little man's home from school. Come, tell me what you think. Okay. I like the it's like a tarpaulin. It's light. Okay. It's back. It looks tarpaulin. Mean, Don't kick up against anything. It's still not fully dry, kid. Right? I think it's gonna look so good with all your other stuff. You did it good. You look like this looks like somebody actually. Oh, so what you trying to say? So you look like somebody actually. Because I'm professional. Hello. <laughs> Because I figured the he's talking about that guys. I figure the mattress goes up against that and you're not gonna see it, so I was like, I'm not wasting this paint. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm digging, I'm digging. It matches my children. Yeah. Okay, good.